is going on. So we are in London. Tea dance. So we've come all the way this way to purchase a car. I don't know whose idea this was. It's took us so far, four and a half hours. We've had to get a lift from the parents, then we've got a train, then the, the platform was down, so we had to get a bus, another train. <laughs> now we're getting a taxi. But it is a beautiful car and we will show it you <laughs> shortly. But it's been a long day, four and a half hours down. <laughs> we're still not there yet. Uh, the road name is... Ongar Road, Cooksmill Green. Yeah, so it's took us a long time. This is hopefully the last leg. We weren't allowed to get the car up till four o'clock anyway. We looked at a lot in Stratford, didn't we? We looked at some of these in Leamington. We looked at these uh, in a lot of locations, but this one in London was beautiful. But I'll show it, yeah, when we get there. My new car. <laughs> yeah, perfect, thank you. Yeah, right, I'll <laughs> <laughs> Can we get that one, please? Yeah, I can't quite afford that Can one we just it? yet. Are you nervous? <laughs> no. How do you turn the lights on? Oh no, she can tell it's a new car, so we actually have no clue. So this is it. So we bought ourselves a Range Rover Sport. It does sound very extravagant, but <laughs> no, no. we have been looking for a car for a while. And there is a bit of a story behind this car. Um, so we bought ourselves a Range Rover Sport from Imperial's Essex. We looked at Land Rover, we looked at Volvo, we looked at X5s. We looked at X3s, Volvo XC90s, XC40s, stuff like that. We looked at every car, but then we realized that there was no better Come or first. a more luxurious car than a Range Rover Sport. <laughs> look, we've got our pan roof. It's all ivory interior. And then it is a, it was a basic Range Rover, then they took it and did a little bit to it. I don't really know exactly what they've done to it, but they've took bits off and sprayed them back, basically. Put newer model stuff on it and just made it look so sweet. But Phoebe's gonna drive this mainly on the daily and then I'll just use it at the weekends and stuff because obviously I do a lot of miles around the gyms. Phoebe just goes to one gym, so I'll do 15 to 20,000 miles a year. And putting 15 to 20,000 miles on a Range Rover Sport is not going to be ideal. So I've got my sweet little Golf, which I absolutely love. Phoebe's got this. Do a little new car dancing. No, I'm driving. <laughs> the story was, we were looking for a car for Phoebe uh, last year, weren't we? Um, and then I had, I bought that brand new S5 and I had it for a couple of years. Then I sold my S5 because affordability for us to get a mortgage was ludicrous. So we said that we were gonna buy a car. So we were gonna buy Phoebe and Evoke and then we looked at them and they're too small and I don't really like them. They are lovely, but they just weren't for us. We need a bigger car for the dogs and bits and pieces. <laughs> all, the kids got. all the kids have got, all the dogs <laughs> and all that. And then we decided, right, we'll buy, we'll buy a new car in the new year. So we got a mortgage, moved into our house, did it up, made it all nice, and then we went and bought a Range Rover Sport. So that's the story. What is going on, people? We are now on Tuesday. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Currently driving like Colin McRae around the middle of Warwickshire. Yeah, London was long. We got back in time anyway. Anyway, today we are releasing a new business called Train at Home. So basically, it's home personal training, but it's based around actual results-driven home personal training and packages, programs, and a lot of stuff we do in fitness works is now going to be able to be accessed from your own home. So if you're a mother that can't leave the house, if you don't like gyms, if you don't have time and you want people to come to your work or your house, your office, wherever you may be we can come to if you want to train in the park, whatever it is, you can now access fitness works programs from a website called www.trainathome.co.uk. And today we are filming the promo video with it. We're just on our way to pick up Joe. And then we've borrowed my friend's beautiful barn, McGrath's and McGrath's beautiful barn for the afternoon to record some sick content. And we have five people back at the gym going to be our models for the day. Two trainers, five models, 1.7 million pound barn, and a new business idea. Sweet. So this is McGrath's amazing house. We're filming content. We've even got nice stalls. Putting all my life into them and into the family, I really wanted some space for myself. I've been in sports all my life, loved it, I've been getting up a bit. Uh, started training at a gym about age of 15 because I was skinny and I wanted to put some size on, put some strength on. Yeah, just fell in love with it. 